Damien Sugar Vasquez here. Uh, Las Vegas has a new uh, NABF light flyweight champion. Uh, won an eight round decision over Omar Soto. Um, congratulations, man. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling good right now. You know, it was a good fight, and you know, I took that next step into the pros, and you know, I'm gotcha. ready to go after a world title. You know, we've been seeing you for a few years. You do things the right way. You put that hard work in in camp. You learn from seasoned guys all over Vegas. Now you're with Ismael Salas Miguel Diaz, which is Sandoval. How important was just the camaraderie, the chemistry of this camp that you've had lately with them? Uh, it, you know, it was very important because, you know, they helped me take that next step into uh, the pros that mm -hmm. I needed. And, you know, and they have a lot of experience behind them, you know, that helped me out a lot. Okay. When you found out that um, NABF flyweight title was going to be on the line, what went through your head? You know, what, what were your first thoughts? You know, to me, you know, it didn't hit me just yet, but, you know, I thought, you know, I thought it was pretty cool that I was already fighting for for a title, but to me, you know, I just took it, hey, you know, it's just another fight to me, you know. Okay, one thing I was going to say, you know, I've been going around Vegas today, um, random, doing gym updates, and I've been telling people, hey, you know, boxing people, you, Vegas got a new champ, 17-year-old Sugar Vasquez, everybody's been telling me, man, that's great, Vegas got to support a kid like this. I mean, how important is it for you to kind of like represent part of what Vegas is because this is the fight capital of the world and now you're the new champion in the city. What's it mean to be doing what you're doing in Vegas? No, I think it, I think it, you know, I, I like it a lot. You know, I think it's big for me too because, you know, it's, like you said, it's a fight capital and, you know, I'm going to be doing, making my pro career out of here. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's just great having a, a lot of boxing fans backing me up from the start. Okay. Let's talk about the fight itself. Uh, you won an eight round unanimous decision, uh, won every round, it looks like. Um, was it a difficult fight at all? Was it easy? How did the fight play yeah, out? It was somewhat difficult because he was a veteran and he was very experienced, so you yeah. know he had more experience than me. But what came into play was that I was in better shape and I had better condition. Okay. Did you feel stronger than him physically too? Yes. Okay. And so did you get a sense that you dropped him in the fifth round? Is that right? How did did you knock him down? With, with what punch did you? I caught him with the right hook and then with the straight left and he went right down. And from there, was it a matter of kind of just staying disciplined because you know he didn't want to yeah, fight? staying nice and calm and, you know, yeah. not, not getting overexcited. Gotcha. We saw you on a Facebook after, with you know, uh, just celebrating. I mean, what's going through your head now? What emotions are you feeling? No, I just, you know... I, I'm just kicking back and relaxing right now, mm -hmm. and you know, I'll get. Hopefully, I'll fight in December, and that's what we're looking at. Hopefully, December, and you know, take it from there. All right, Damian Sugar Vasquez, congratulations. There's a lot more to come. We'll be talking to you All soon. Right. Oscar, what are we looking at here? What are we? We're, we're looking here. At, he was 10 years old right there. This is where he competed in the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, Festival Classic, it's like a Junior yeah. Olympic tournament down in Ohio. You know, the first three pitches. You see the one in the corner. That's where he's already. He's defeated. He's he's uh, won uh, the state, regional, national amateur world. Plus, he defeated seven other national champions. Wow. You know, he, this is here the Junior Olympics here, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Mom has all the shit put away. She don't have anywhere to put it up right now. But you know, he got you know, he got all kind. Of, he got seven bouts, uh, amateur mm -hmm. bouts, bro. And to people who know Sugar Vasquez's story, you're the man behind the scenes, really orchestrating everything. What's it mean to you? How happy are you to really see all this stuff happening? You know, it makes me very happy, you know what I mean? And, and it's not only, you know, I'm, I'm the one who administrates to, is administrating Damien's career, but also, you know, Damien's just a kid that's totally 100% dedicated to this game, like I told him from the beginning. You know, do this because you want to do it. You want to do it from the heart. Don't do it because, I, I, you know, I manage professional fighters. I'm always around the boxing game. You know, and do it for yourself. And, you know, and he's proven to me that, you know, this is what he wants to do. So my job is to bring all the necessary tools that he needs to him so he can be the best in the world. And we're headed, man. You know, we got the NABF title now, you know, and we're 17 years old. And uh, we're looking at being the youngest uh, world champion in U.S. history. And I think we know we're going to be grabbing a title, a flyweight title. So the, it's going to be the WBC title. So you know what? Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez, watch out, baby. You know what? Because there's a new player in the game, baby. Um, what do you think about Vegas? Should they get behind a fighter like that? Oh, of course. Why not? I mean, I don't see, I don't see why not. I mean, you got to, this is the future of boxing. So you got somebody that's doing something that this, this really hasn't been done, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think we should definitely get behind them. Vegas, I mean, everybody, the boxing world, you know? Yep. This is something special. This kid has talent. I mean, you know, yep. it, it is going to go. What do you think? We got a new a new NABF champion, Vegas, only 17-year-old, Sugar Vasquez. What do you guys think of that when you heard that news? Oh, man, it's big time, you know, for a young guy like that, uh, you know, with, with, without that many fights to come in and, and that, that's a big honor. So, I mean, making Vegas look good right now. 
there, man, 17 years old. That's like unheard of. That's definitely unheard of. Mike Tyson did it at 18, but for 17 years old at a flyweight like that, that's definitely big time. What do you man. think when you hear that news? Well, I, I think about one name. That's Wilfredo Benitez. When he was 17 years old, he won a, a world title, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, I mean, what we're witnessing now is a resurgence of another superstar. Being around Damon, did you sense that he was just a hard-working, humble kid? Yeah, I, th I think so. You know, uh, the guys from there that I've met are really nice, humble people. You know, like Caesar. Yeah. Guys from Mexico, those are the real, you know, tough, tough guys, and they're quiet, soft-spoken, but they carry big points. Sergio Lopez, you've sparred a lot of rounds with Sugar Vasquez. What are your thoughts? He won the NABF title. Man, yeah, good for him, dude. Like for his age, he's uh, he's actually uh, he's, uh, he's at a good level right now, man. After sparring with him, can you just tell that he's just such a quality fighter? Yeah, he's so he's young. Got, he's, got, he's got all the tools to be a good, good fighter. He's got speed, technique, he's got power, he's got good angles, he's not, he knows how to move. He's, he knows what he's doing. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, he did, he did a good thing and, you know, it's just the beginning. When, that, when you hear about a fighter like that in Vegas and they win that belt, what could it, he, that mean for the city of Vegas, having a young champ coming up? Well, it means that we need to start going out and support our locals and, you know, keep letting them know how far we are and, and you know, keep showing the love and respect for what they do.